So just another quick video about Virtual D-Day 2024, which is still an early access release at the time of this recording, so probably not something you want to go use for gigs. Uh, uh, and actually, this is not the original early access re uh, release of 2024, because that was built 8000. This is built 8019, so quite a few fixes has come out since then. Uh, during this week since the uh, original 2024 release. So I certainly suggest that you should upgrade to the latest early access release if you had actually already moved to uh, to the tw 24 uh, version, right? Uh, because there's going to be probably going to be uh, a few of these before the public release comes out. Uh, but uh, specifically, this video is going to be about this section over here. So it's going to be about this shot. This is now the shortcut section uh, and the icons on the shortcut sessions because like you saw in the previous video, or if you have already upgraded, uh, the regular stuff over here has been moved. Uh, so there's no uh, longer these uh, buttons that were usually here before. Uh, in my other video that I did, uh, the first one for Way to Day 2024, uh, I already went through this, so you can I'll link that in the video description. But one thing that has actually changed with the latest early access release is that you can now get the um, the, the folder, previous folder function back. So I'm just gonna show that because that's actually in setting. So I go into settings, go into the browser, and then I type in previous. And set that to yes. So now you can see I got this back button, if you will. So now if I uh, move around here somewhere, you can see, go, go back here, right? So that's nice. Um, so that's something you can enable if you actually really want it. So that's one little thing, but uh, mainly I'm gonna talk about uh, the icons over here because that's not what this does. So it's it's shortcuts with icons on it, right? So if I click a plus here, I'm gonna get a shortcut to this particular folder. Uh, it could also be a playlist, it could also be something else, but now I'm, I'm on a folder, so I click the shortcut plus button here. I can also drag and drop it like it says. But the new thing is that you need to get this mandatory pop-up. It's actually not mandatory because you can just close it and it'll take the first icon, but you get this mandatory pop-up for icons. So you are kind of forced to select an icon. So I'll select this one and it gets that one. That was a right-click feature before that some people didn't notice. But when you click a new one, I'm just gonna pick another folder here and then click shortcut, at shortcut, and I get to pick another icon, right? So that's an easy way to go back and forth. forth. And, uh, and and here, so that's of course what it does, but you get the icons instantly because uh, it's now obvious that you need to select an icon. So that that's kind of new. Um, another thing that you can do, uh, that you could already do before, but it was kind of hard to see, is when you pick an icon, just let me do it on a new one. I uh, just need to pick another folder here. Um, so I pick an icon, like maybe, these drums here, and I pick to change this icon. I can also set the color for it. So I can say this should be red, and maybe uh, the other ones that are, or one of the other ones here, should be blue. And not only can you pick these standard colors, you can see it also opens up so you can pick variations of that color. I'll just pick this one. So. That, of course, makes it a lot easier to tell these icons from each other because you have colors on them now. So that's a, a really nifty little feature. I'm just going to change them back uh, for the sake of the rest of this video. Uh, and then you can, of course, do that too. That's the little cross here, if you will. So now it's back to gray. And the same with the other one. Back to gray. So now they're gray. So that's nice. Because that's just to, to show you this option. Because the other thing, the next thing I'm going to show them is show you is custom icons. Uh, that's, a, that's a little bit more fun. So let, let's just do a new one on a, another folder. So I'm going to do a shortcut, add shortcut here. And of course, get this one. But now I'm going to use the custom image. And it's like custom image is not going to be limited because can you just use all images? Well, it's, it is got to be. You want to you wanna pick them correctly. Uh, let me just tell you that. We'll get into that now. So I select custom image and I get a, a standard thing here. And I was like, well, let's just start here. I, I send out an, an email, like an invitation, this uh, 
for the for the St. Patrick's Day a short while ago. So uh, let me pick the image I had in the header, header here. It was pretty wide, uh, but let's see what Visual DDR does with it. So I picked that one. I said, yeah, use that one. You can see down here that you can use PNGs and JPEGs. So those are the supported formats. And this is a JPEG, so that's fine. Let me pick that one, see what it does. Well, it does add it. So that's nice, but uh, it's a little wide. It has definitely scaled it down, but it doesn't really fit. It's just kind of weird. It will work, but it's kind of weird, right? So you probably don't want to do that. Okay. Then I said, okay, we're probably going to have to work with something that, that looks like icons, really. So I did a Google search uh, for icons, and there's, of course, a ton of icons that you can uh, uh, then Google can help you find. So I, I picked one, um, uh, and I saved it. So uh, that's what I'm going to try use, to use now. So I want to change my icon, use yet another custom image, and I'm going to go with the... This one, it was a settings one, so like a, this uh, settings uh, cockwheel, right? So uh, pick that one. Yeah, that looks nice. Now it's a square file that I've used because that's what icons look like. Looks like so it fits better, but it really doesn't fit with the color scheme, and you can't really see anything about it when you. It's just kind of there. Okay, that's not really good. You may want to look at someone something that's gray. So I did another Google search um, for icons gray like this and got a lot of that stuff so I again picked one and saved it and I'm gonna try to change it to that I what that icon now so yet another custom icon so that's the one called square boat gray so I'm picking out that's that sounds promising well it doesn't really fix the aesthetics right because it's not the same gray uh, so what I'm gonna do about that? Well, not sure. It doesn't really work either because you can't see when it's selected. And you, okay. Let let me. Okay, we probably want something darker gray. So then I uh, went out there again and picked another one, and said, "Well, let me change the icon again, custom image." And then I went with the uh, the Twitch square icon because that's kind of dark gray. So that might uh, that might work. So let me just uh, grab that one, um, Twitch square icon. Like this. It is better, but it's still not good because it's too wide. It's not scaled down enough. So what's up with that? Then I looked it up and it says actually uh, somewhere in the settings that you should probably go with 64 by 64 pixel icons when you do this kind of stuff. Okay, so I scaled it down a little bit. Uh, so let me try changing it into that one. So change icon yet again. And custom image. So 64 by 64 pixels here. So what happens then? It fits perfectly, but it's still a lighter dark color. So when I select other stuff, it kind of still stands out. So it looks like it's selected, even though it's this one that's selected, that also kind of stands out a little bit. So that's probably not perfect either. So you probably want to be very careful with the background colors you use when you do this kind of stuff. Otherwise, it'll, it'll be weird, right? Another thing you can do, and that's what I what I did, is you can simply make it smaller because then, the, or you can make it transparent background because then uh, the the selection colors will still work. So let me just change the icon. What I did was simply make it smaller. So I did a uh, a uh, thirty by thirty, so almost half the size, or a little bit less actually than half the size. Let's pick that one, and then you can still kind of tell what icon it is, but. Um, but it's so small that when you select it, the select color around it still works and gets turned on off uh, when you pick another one. So that kind of works. Of course, you have a, a much smaller icon, but that's actually the best result that I've uh, that I'm currently using. So, uh, so, so that's what I'm doing right now. Of course, I think you should try to mess with transparency and you should pick uh, icons that have the the perfect colors compared to what your skin has. Yeah. So. Uh, there's a lot of uh, little thoughts to put into this uh, if you want to uh, play with it. Another thing about this is if it's like this, like I just did, and you change the icon and you pick a color on it, it of course can't do it because the color is part of the actual image, right? So if I pick another color here, like I want to make you red or uh, yellow, uh, then it just simply throws it away and jumps back to the mothership and picks the first uh, the first icon instead. So you can't really use this color stuff when you're using your custom icons here. So that's kind of funky. Uh, so that's another th uh, thing to uh, to think about. 
Um, so you have to be very careful, and also you can have actually uh, put the, this this in in uh, in uh, in bulk, if you will. That's an option in the settings uh, to put in a whole collection of icons in one image, and then Visual Detail would do stuff to them. Uh, I haven't looked too much into that. I guess I'm going to do a, a separate image on that, but uh, it, I guess it could be fun uh, if I go back to my search here, go back to this one to. Uh, to try to do using this one. That is going to be very pink. That could be like a, a funky little thing to do. Uh, but this was just a, a little intro uh, image to what has happened over here, and that it's easier to pick uh, icons, almost forced, forced to do it. Uh, it's, it's easier to uh, select colors, and you can also use your own custom icons, but you're probably going to need to work a little bit with them outside of virtual DJ before you start using them. Uh, I'll, if you don't, it'll get kind of weird. It'll work. Uh, you can still click them, and it'll still appear in some way, uh, shape or form. But it'll get weird if you don't, uh, if you're not careful with your uh, custom icons, uh, custom icons before you start using them.